Hey everybody, it is September 17th. We are loaded up, we're getting ready to go on our moose hunt. <clears throat> we are gonna go fill these four-wheelers up, right, or the six guys up right now. Uh, we're leaving way early in the morning. Try to uh, get there at a decent time tomorrow. It's like a 10 hour four-wheeler ride. Anyways, the uh, riffers showed up. They're getting the shingles on the roof. That'll all be done when we get back and all the insulation should be blown in the walls and in the in the ceiling. So, but we're gonna take a break and go see if we can't get a moose. Well, hey, we made it in. We did it a little different this year. We uh, left middle of the night, rode all night. Got in here, it's morning. I don't even know what time it is, but it's morning. Nothing major happened, all went good. Right when we get to the valley we're hunting, it starts snowing and the wind starts blowing. You see it up in the hills, on the top of the hill. Get the tent set up. Well, we got everything set up. Enough for uh, us to be able to take a nap. We're all pretty whipped. We're gonna lay down, take a nap for a couple hours. Let's see if we can find a moose. Take it through the hole. No, take it through there. There you go, bro. Making sure our rifles are on. One of them, the one the boys shoot, the 270 was off. Anyways, that's how much gas we hauled in. Well, we got our gun sighted in. It's about 5.30. Let's go, uh, we're all kind of whipped, so we're just gonna go not far from our camp tonight. We're just gonna go across the valley and see if we can see anything underneath our tent or underneath where we're camping. Anyways, it's an awesome day. Yeah, we're pretty slow moving the day. Late night, long day yesterday. Just gonna do some calling from camp, pick up around camp. Just hunt this valley right here, right in front of us. Maybe haul some firewood. So it's morning of day two. Well, it's about 2.30 to make our way over there. We're gonna glass back towards camp and then we're gonna maybe look back on the other side of that. It's a little windy. So Owen was the first to spot a moose. There's our camp. Directly across from camp. Right above that little rock pile right there, there's two moose. He thinks there's a bull. 
they lay it down. We'll come back back to them later tonight. Well, we just got done eating a couple hot dogs. We finally uh, confirmed that the moose that Owen saw, the two moose that Owen saw, was a cow and a calf. Just about to open the glass up. Barely see anything. Anyways, Dad and Aaron got a pretty good fire going over at camp. Time to day two. Cow and a calf is all we see. It's pretty windy right now. It's starting to rain. Probably going to snow tonight. Hopefully there's not too much snow on the ground when we wake up. Morning of day three. Can't see anything. Stuck in the tent this morning. Supposed to be a bit a uh, snowstorm moving through here, not as big as what we had last year, just three or four hours. Then hopefully it clears off again. Well, it's finally starting to clear up. It's 2 30. I'm gonna go up over the hill over here and see what's on the backside. We just got back to our camp, which is right up there, and the fog decided to lift. Looks awesome. It's 8 o'clock, got about 20 or 30 minutes of glassing left in the day, so that's what I'm going to do. Well, we're wrapping up day three. Had an awesome sunset tonight. As you can see the mountains behind me. Probably looked a lot better in person than it did on the camera. But anyways, it's very slow this year. We have not seen a whole lot of moose. We've seen a cow and a calf. And normally hunting here, we would see probably at least five to ten bulls 
20 cows. I mean, 10 cows, I don't know. It's just, it's way slower than normal. We don't, we have not seen a bull yet. So. It's pretty. We'll keep trying. Day four. It's <laughs> blasting in this morning. Well, I've been stuck in the tent for about three hours this morning. Got about a half hour of glassing in before the fog rolled in. We are cooking burgers. Well, it's 12.30. Still socked in here. Well, I've heard of guys building uh, moose calls out of uh, stick and heat bottles. Use an old oil jug. About six o'clock, still foggy. We decided we're gonna go to the next valley over, get down in the bottom of the valley and just do some calling, see if we can't call something out. We've been calling here all day. The boys walked down to the bottom of the valley, walked all the way around this, this little point right here. It took them about two and a half hours. She's dead. We're only sit in the tent so long. Show me what we're cooking here and I'll uh, get it going by the time you guys get back. Just need to see one of them. Fog finally lifted. We're just sitting right up in there. Just moved up to higher ground for the last hour. It's 7.30. It's going to be dark in an hour. That's what we're looking at.
Well, we just spotted two cows. That's good. See right there in the middle of the screen. There's another one right up in there. If there's two cows, I'm pretty dang sure there's going to be a bull there. That was day five. Finally some blue skies. These clouds are starting to lift. We're gonna get everything, all the chores done around camp here that we gotta get done and we're gonna head over to that next valley over where we saw those two cows yesterday. There's our camp right there. We've been hunting this valley hard, calling hard. The last three or four days, have not seen a moose in this area. Last night we were over here on the other side of this hill in that valley and that's where we saw the two cows. And uh, Owen's pretty sure he heard a bull grunting in there. I'm pretty sure if there's two cows, there should be a bull over there. So we're working our way that way, just glassing what we can here. Since we haven't been able to glass this for two days, it's been socked in. A couple cows. No bull yet. We're about 10 miles from our camp in another valley. We we're hoping we'll get back here, there'd be no fog. But it's socked in back here, so cook some hot dogs, go a little bit, see if this don't lift. If not, we're gonna have to head back to our valley. Well, the fog finally lifted. We were doing some calling from right over there. And we had a moose start calling back to us. Somewhere down, down in that. Then dad saw, right when we pulled up, way down right there. There's a cow, he thought he saw a bull down there. That'd be pretty tough to go get. Well, we've been glassing here for about an hour and a half. That bull that we saw, or that cow that we saw right down there running around, there was a smaller 30 to 40 inch bull chasing her around. We're guessing that's what we heard, grunting back at us. Um, anyways, we're gonna hop over the hill here and look back towards our camp. We can actually see our tent, so we're gonna look up underneath our tent, which it's about a 10 mile ride, but as the crow flies, probably four miles. Just look up in those drainages. Well, we decided to come back to our valley. See if we can't spot a bull with those two cows that we seen earlier. Right when I pulled up, I spotted them right there in that yellow.
no bull with them. So at least the moose are starting to move. We haven't seen a whole lot. We saw one bull. Day six. Pretty nice out here. Last night before we, <clears throat> before we came back, we went to every drainage leading out up to the hill, up to this hill here, and uh, we called hard down every single drainage. There is nothing in this valley right now, or at least there wasn't. Hopefully we uh, got something moving this way. The plan for today is to go on the other side of that hill and hunt all that over there. We haven't really been over there this year. There's not that much to hunt, but there is some little draws that come up into it. So that's the plan for the day. covering a lot of ground. Oh, we just spotted a bull. It's just up and around this this point here. Like 50-ish, mid 50s, close to 50. I haven't really had a chance to look at him that close, but he's bigger. I was doing a little bit of calling and he started raking right below us.
good. Oh, sorry we didn't get that on video. But, uh, he had a cow with him. The cow took off. She winded us and then he took off right behind her, so. I dropped the phone so I could back him up, but I didn't have to. chamber that was a nice shot There it is, we looked hard for this guy. It's not the biggest one we've ever taken, but we'll take it. It's the only decent sized bull we've seen so far. Nice job. Stop it. We stopped right up there. It's as far as pretty much as far as we can go. Stop there, getting ready to turn around, throw out some cow calls. And he came right up to us five minutes after calling. Oh sweet. Oh, here comes my ride. Oh, they brought my six by nice. I'll have to go get it. You see him tip that thing over? Huh? Did you see him tip that thing over? Yeah. Yeah, he, I thought he was going to keep rolling. Well, I couldn't tell how steep that was. I thought maybe he was rolling. Job, boy. Nice. Shot it. Good shot, uh, man. 50 ish. 50 ish. So, there's the bull right there. Probably can't really tell how steep this is, but it's pretty steep. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to back down there with the 6x. Hook, hook a strap up to it and then Jake's gonna hook a strap to me and we're gonna try to pull him up here where it's a little more flat.
Oh, backstrap. Well, here's uh, what's left. Took us about two and a half hours. Typical load, Jake always throws the bag with the tenderloins and backstrap on his bike, so, and then he throws all his winter gear under the tarp and straps it to make it look like he's got a load. And then I get the rest over here. And then the boys like to bring their antlers out. Anyways. Started snowing on us. We're gonna get back to camp, get this bad boy hung up, and probably drink a toddy. Transferred all the meat into my six by. Jake said to not come off right on the other side. I might have a nut to fit it. I think we can just push it up by hand. That holds the trailing arms on. He took it off. Everybody's got their toolbox. And make some bolts. Dad, no one coming back. No one's right. Jake's machine pulled the two middle tires off. They're coming back on the down low so that they don't hit a rock. Bend the cal or uh, bend the uh, disc or break the caliper off. Can't believe a tenderloin and a backstrap <laughs> did that to Jake's machine. pulled out you can see it shear it off right there there's no threads left what we're going to try to do is thread a fine thread nut off of the axle the spare axle that we have on it see if we can't get it started and then we'll get rid and then we'll get rid of this spacer right there to get out Go. So it also yeah, broke the axle. Right we do have a spare axle in here, so let's see if we can pull this one off while we've got that. Well, we're getting ready to hang up this meat. Well, we got the meat hung. We're not going to tarp it tonight. We're just going to let the wind do its thing. It's, it's well below freezing.
Tomorrow morning we're gonna get up and try to get Jake's machine fixed good enough to get out of here. Might get a one in tomorrow afternoon. And then get out of here the next day. Well, we decided we were getting out of here today. Got a lot of packing to do. Leaving a day early. <clears throat> we got got our moose, so we're gonna get out of here. Still gotta fix. Still gotta fix this six by. And get that fixed here in a little bit. Another day of fog. That's the last day. Got a lot to get back in the trailer. They cut some threads in it and we ran on an axle nut. Threaded it on there. And try. It's gonna be it'll work, it'll get us out of here. Oh, well, I pretty much got camp broke down. We are all loaded up. Start heading out. 